All right, I guess we'll make an attempt to cut this open with some uh, tin snips. These ones cut a, a slot out as you go. So I'll probably have to start by spearing this filter somewhere. Hardest part's getting going. What a mess. This doesn't need to be this hard. Ah, at least we're getting it done. This is convenient if you need to snip a section of duct work. There, you get the idea. So we'll get this thing apart and then we'll take a look at it. All right, got the filter apart. This was uh, actually inside of it. This came off when I was taking the filter off of the machine. This tube goes on to the uh, center of the uh, filter adapter there. I don't know if you can see that in there or not. But keep an eye out for that. You wouldn't want to uh, lose it. I'm just I'm poking around it. Can't say that I can see it. Hopefully you can. So anyway, that uh, is a part you'll be needing to look for when you do an oil change on one of these machines. Luckily it hasn't been done on this machine too often, so it hasn't been lost yet. And then uh, the filter looks good. When you look inside the pleats, there's no metal in there. It smells like gas though, so the choke is being used way too much. So that uh, tells you that. Oil is adds oil. So anyway, got that apart, got the oil drained. Now we'll have to uh, get some oil to put in, which will so be on another day. So we'll take a look at that in uh, the next little while. Thanks.